So it's Irene's turn to close this off, as expected, as Nelson will close it off for the next one. As uh, Brad Wilcox did his to the youth of the noble birthright, telling young boys not to masturbate, not to get girls pregnant. Because it's a pernicious evil. Don't listen to Metallica that just came out with Master of Puppets the previous month. Because <laughs> of its beaten tone. <laughs> Don't watch pornography. You'll go blind. So, did you pay attention to Irene, how he started it off? Most of us know family members who worship Satan. <laughs> Every single Mormon listens and worships Satan. What is Satan's doctrine? Take away agency. This is what the leaders are doing. They're taking away your agency and teaching you to take away other people's agency. To do it to your family who rebel and become the black sheep of the family. Try to escape and dear God you know this, Mormons, and yet you still do it. And you get angry when people call you out for it. It's just unbelievable. And then you get, and you then falsely accuse me and us of calling good evil and evil good when it's what you're doing. So now Irene is doing the revisionist history of Christianity. I did hear one of the uh, apostles yesterday mention the ascension. Irene didn't do that. He stopped at resurrection from the dead. <laughs> oh, I was hoping he was going to end early. <laughs> Joseph Smith in all of his doctrines, all of his sermons, never, ever, ever closed in the name of Jesus Christ. It's only the Danites under Brigham Young who started that. And so when you go through the Joseph Smith papers, watch. You will see a Danite say in the name of Jesus Christ especially in Nauvoo, when the Danites have to leave Adam on Diamond because they burn that bridge down to the ground. <clears throat> but then Joseph, still, no in the name of Jesus Christ. Even in his uh, King Follett sermon, he does not say, in the name of Jesus Christ. Doesn't do it. To the very end, he will not close that way. That is only this church. And so the call concept of prayer? No, not in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, which one's the Lord's Prayer? Matthew 6, 9 to 13. Uh, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our debts. Yeah, just amen. Not in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And Catholics 
and thus all Christianity, turned that into a rote prayer. <laughs> Which is forbidden in their own scriptures that they revised and turned into Christian from the Jews. Just hilarious. But yeah, he's doing that our way and the other way. A false dichotomy claim in which if you are not loyal to the church, paying your tithing, speaking the speak, being happy about it, you are the enemy. You are a follower of Lucifer. And that's not a follower of Lucifer. A follower of Lucifer is taking away the agency of other people. Taking scriptures and twisting them, replacing them as Christian when they're Jewish, that is Lucifer's way. And it's the same thing for uh, the person who, I think it was Ronald, somebody had come out and said, fascism will be cloaked in the American flag. Let's see if I can find that quote since we have the internet up. fascism comes to America, it will be wrapped in the flag. Sinclair Lewis, Illinois State University, FAC, the Sinclair Lewis Society, so I think they would know. <laughs> I think that would be a legitimate authoritative source. When fascism comes to America, it will be wrapped in the flag and carrying a cross. Christian and patriotism equals fascism. So, yeah, this will be a separate video since I'm already saving the previous one. <clears throat> but he's now rambling on about a story. And I've got lunch to still eat. <laughs> now he's talking about, with the one case example that he gave, about how a woman got arrested for preaching Jesus and then got freed by preaching Jesus to the judge. <clears throat> Irene then goes on to tell Mormons who are not allowed to study that if they are insecure about their knowledge of the gospel of Jesus that they need to pray to Jesus and they'll everything will be just fine <laughs> or we can resurrect the memory of Elder Packer a testimony is found in the bearing of it <laughs> just abominable yeah and so yeah it, he's he's trying to justify taking away agency You know, a person is not evil just because they don't believe in paying money to those who are threatening your family to not be saved in the afterlife. That's a crime. And that's what he knows and is still pushing it, blaming Jesus for it. He is not authorized priesthood was amened with the murder of Joseph. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, he's now saying, save them. 
Your teaching of the doctrine will be remembered. There are too many Mormons who do this, who throw the talks or scriptures, or family proclamation in people's faces like my mom did to me when she helped kidnap my kids. <laughs> to take away my agency and the agency of my children and and nobody sees this as being wrong in the church that it's criminal leave people alone let them worship how where and what they may but this church won't let you you have to be Mormon you have to pay you have to obey you will not be free. And so, yeah, we're through with this session. <clears throat> so, where are we on the other video that's being saved? 91%? Yay. So, yeah, there's, there's the witch. <laughs> Women can get away with everything not fair <laughs> mormonism and the occult yeah i covered that yesterday didn't i God. So, yeah. snl's back season two this last night that i watched this morning And somebody's claiming the theology of Mormonism, the second great saints. They, no, they have no clue what theology is of Mormonism, especially when you have a guy in a black coat in a, uh, a hall of, of pillars and blood Mormonism, red rum, <laughs> rambling on for two hours. He has no clue about theology. I've been sharing you Theology of Mormonism for all these years. If you go on my video page and then click Oldest, you will see Philosophy of Mormonism and Theology and all that with translations and all that stuff. That's what I was originally using YouTube for. And uh, then that fateful day, November 4th, 2016, right before the election, my jaw dropped because I knew what it meant. My life changed forever and everybody wants me dead. <laughs>